Hi, I'm Karen Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be painting some beautiful knapweed in some glorious pinks and blues and violets in a very loose style. Letting go, less is more. Let's get started. Here is the gorgeous reference photograph and a link for this can be found in the description below. Just click show more. I'm going to use this photograph very loosely. I'm not going to copy exactly. And for a full list of all the materials I'm using, please check out the description below. So I've drawn my picture with an HB pencil on smooth hot press watercolor paper, but you could use cold pressed as well. I'm painting wet on dry using my size six brush, using some pinks and violets to paint this knapweed and all the little spindly bits and just kind of varying the marks and just having fun with it really. They really loose, as you can see here, I'm using my twig and I'm sort of pulling out some of that wet paint to create some of those very thin marks. And in watercolor painting, we work light to dark. So these, these areas that I'm painting are the very light washes. I'm just getting some creamy pink there and I'm just dropping this in damp into wet to create this lovely sort of more of a darker bit just towards the stem. Just to ensure that I'm keeping loose and not getting too tight, I'm spattering my um, wildflowers here just to kind of, just to create some texture, but just to keep me loose as well. I'm still using my size six brush, painting wet on dry, and I've just mixed up a little bit of quinacridone gold, a touch of green, and I'm painting in this seed head here, and the stems, and those small leaves. If you would like to watch longer tutorials with lots more tips and techniques, and my sort of in-depth discussion about color mixing, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Details about that can be found in the top right-hand corner. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, back to the painting. I'm using some phthalo blue and some sap green here and just painting this very dark area and just carefully pulling that stem towards me. Just take your time with that and just sort of pressing down and painting these leaves to get that lovely sort of effect and dropping in sort of dark creamy paint here and there. Trying to be very experimental here, very loose. I'm using the twig basically to draw with here to sort of push around creamy dark paints, the greens, the violets, and I'm using my size two brush as well just to create those sort of smaller little details and just sort of really just playing with the watercolor, dropping in colors, dropping in water, pulling around with my twig, just trying to experiment with it really. Try, you know, the, all those lovely things that watercolor can do. I'm trying to just be as loose as I can and not fiddle too much. So remember, less is more. Try not to go over and over things. If you look at that knapweed on the top right hand side, the way the blue, the green has run into the pink, I've left it alone because I thought it creates a lovely shadow. So sometimes that's what we call happy accidents. To don't, so don't fiddle with things. Things, let them dry see what happens treat it like an experiment if you find this a little bit daunting why not try it in your sketchbooks or on the back of an old watercolor painting so you don't feel the pressure and you just enjoy it and it becomes more therapeutic
if you're like me and you find leaves a little bit tricky, what I'm doing here is I've pressed down and I've twisted my brush to get that sort of lovely sharp edge. So you sort of get that effect and then just drop colors in, or in this case, a little bit of a spatter. I've allowed my painting to dry off and I'm painting wet on dry, just building up now the darks and the details using sort of violets and blues and darker greens just to get that detail and to finish off the painting. As you can see here, I'm putting some dark creamy paint damp into damp to really sort of get those darks standing out. Don't be afraid of the dark, just go for it. We're at the, that sort of last bit of the painting where you've got to be brave with those darks. So I'm putting those in just to create those last bits of details. just giving my painting a final spatter using some of those violets and greens using my size 10 brush so I get bigger marks. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it inspires you to paint wildflowers and to loosen up to experiment and just to have fun with your watercolors. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you would like to watch similar tutorials why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates of my latest videos. For longer tutorials with lots more voiceovers and drawing templates, check out the Patreon membership. If you have any comments or questions about this tutorial, please put them in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.